it like vroom, like zooms it in. Hmm. So when you're trying, oh, I don't want that there. Okay, well that was bad. We're starting off in the car because I'm here loading it and cleaning it out, but today we go on a little trip. Um, me and Matt, my mom, my stepdad are all going up to watch my brother and his wife graduate from college, and I am so excited. Uh, they're graduating from Western, and it's going to be a really fun weekend. Not only are they graduating, but they're also moving back home, so we get to do a lot of that as well. Um, I'm hoping I'll get to film. I'm still kind of shy with it, so maybe they will want to be in my video. Maybe this will be a bunch of B-roll. Not really sure. Uh, but that's going to be the weekend adventure. Alright, see you soon. I was always Baby Spice when our friends would play Spice Girls because I was the one that was blonde. <laughs> Everybody wanted to be Ginger, but no one was a Ginger. Why you had to be like the queen bee of your group to be Ginger. I wasn't. Ashley was always Sporty Spice because she was like the athletic one. She was Posh Spice. I don't know, that should have been me, but we didn't know I was going to be like this then, so. And then there was Scary Spice. Yeah, I didn't have enough friends. Yeah, I don't know. It was Sporty Spice, now I can't make sure. She always had like a, a ponytail, she had like a little tattoo. She always wear like track pants. And yeah, I knew that, but now I'm getting her and Victoria Beckham mixed up. Victoria Beckham was posh spice. <laughs> I like how you're schooling me on the spice girls right now. <laughs> I know my spice girls. <laughs> you're recording this. The spice girls conversation in. Thanks. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm gonna clickbait it. The whole video is gonna be titled My Fiance Knows More About Spice Girls Than I Do? Question mark? Asterisk. I'm gonna make what my own hell? video. I know more about Spice Girls than my fiance. <laughs> voiceover to give this room tour. Uh, here is the room that we stayed at in Birch Bay. It was right across the street from the bay which was really nice and super gorgeous. Uh, here's the living room. There was a Murphy bed there. There's also our dining area that looked over the pool. They had a full kitchen here. This had all the pots and pans, spices, everything you could need. That closet there by the front door had a full washer and dryer in it, which was great. Uh, here in the first room was where me and Matt stayed. We had a really comfortable bed, a full-size closet, our own television. So that was really awesome. Uh, my parents stayed in this room. This room was the master suite. They had a bathroom attached to it. It was a little bit smaller than the hallway bathroom. Oh, there's Sam after a long day of travel. And there's stand-up shower. And I'll uh, let Matt tell you how our bathroom was. <laughs> Toilet works. <laughs>
nice. Oh, God. Watch out. Look, see, look how far I have to hold this away. I need it. responsibility to think beyond yourself in using the gifts you have been given. On behalf of your Western Washington University trustees, congratulations and best wishes for all of your endeavors. present these candidates and on behalf of the faculty of Western Washington University, I recommend they be awarded the baccalaureate degree subject to the satisfactory completion of any outstanding assignments and or requirements. <laughs> on the recommendation of the faculty of Western Washington University and by the authority vested in me by our board of trustees and in conformity with the laws of the state of Washington, I confer upon you the degree appropriate to the work you have completed with all the responsibilities, privileges, and honors there to pertain. Congratulations, you are now graduates of Western Washington University. <laughs> it is a tradition that you now move your tassels from right to left. Thank you. 